Hey, it's Chris from The Chris Stefanik Show, where we dive into how to live a more joyful life every day in your everyday life, the kind of life that God dreams of for you. Check Father it out. Father Spitzer, thank you so much. Oh, no, it's really my honor to be with you, Chris. <laughs> oh, man, it's a, what a gift. I'll tell you, I'm just, I was talking to my dad before filming the show, and I, I could just hear his jaw drop on the other side of the phone. He's like, you're going to be interviewing Father Spitzer? <laughs> I've interviewed a lot of people. It's the first time that he's like, he was completely starstruck, and I feel bad for not having him down. <laughs> oh, please tell him, uh, don't be starstruck for a normal guy <laughs> in every way. That's right. <laughs> Except blind. <laughs> <laughs> and genius. Uh, yeah, yeah. I'm like everybody else, you know, except that when I put my pants on in the morning, I'm then a genius with my pants on. But, yeah. um, but really, I'm, I'm grateful for all you bring to the church, oh, which, you. by the way, guys, you can find out at Magis Center, M A G I S Center.com. That's where you find all of Father Spitz's work, his books, mm -hmm. his research, which is incredible. I mean, you're kind of a, a, a modern day Aquinas in a lot of ways with the, with the I answer that, right? You're, yeah. you're, you're diving into questions people have and giving really solid answers. Uh, Father Spitzer is a, a PhD in, in physics. Uh, actually, philosophy of science. Philosophy and, of science. Uh, mm -hmm. yeah, in, metaphysics. In is metaphysics. Special. Mm -hmm. it's, uh, yeah. So his, his, his work is, is incredible. All right, so near-death experiences. Uh, yeah. When I first heard you talk about this, I thought, wow, the world needs to hear that. Uh -huh. And I'm happy to do my little part in helping this news get out. Uh, how would you define a near-death experience? Uh, well, it occurs when somebody has a heart attack or could be an accident or a, a drowning victim. Uh, the heart stops for uh, generally over 30 seconds. Mm -hmm. Once that happens, um, the electrical activity in the cerebral and frontal cortices ceases, and so it manifests as a flat EEG fixed and dilated pupils, no gag reflex, basically almost no electri electrical activity in the brain at all, just a few sputterings of neurons in the lower brain. So what- um, You're dead. You're yeah. basically dead, you, yeah. what they call clinically dead. During that time, a spirit-like body, um, you know, it does have a, a sense of being uh, elongated. It has a sense of having limbs and, and so forth. It, um, you, you know, your body can see See and it can hear, uh, it can remember, it can recall. Uh, it um, uh, certainly all your memories are intact. And sometimes, you know, uh, maybe if you're suffering from Alzheimer's, much, much better than they were when you were in your physical body. Wow. Um, and so the, uh, uh, the key element of all of these things is that um, blind people, 81% um, of them can see uh, during clinical death. So you do have eyes apart from your physical eyes. And of course, uh, when you can t see, you know, 81% of people can report veridical data. We have, you know, one 16 year old in one of our Monge's videos, you know, he's blind from birth and uh, he goes right outside the hospital um, during his um, near death experience. And as he's out there in the ho outside the hospital, for the first time he sees um, you know, it passes right through the walls, right? And uh, just sees the, uh, he does. You're not subject to any physical laws like solidity, gravity, et cetera. Yeah. So he passes right through the hospital walls and he's out there and he says, for the first time in my life, I actually saw snow and I saw these grooves in the snow from, you know, the, the train tracks. And uh, this train was passing by me and, and, you know, all trains have schedules. And so he, he you know, oh he gosh. can coordinate the schedule of that train with his, um, heart attack and near-death experience. So, you know, this train's passing by. He says, I looked at it, and it had a sign on the back of it with an arrow pointing to the right. And sure enough, the train went around the corner <laughs> and into a grove of trees to the right. This is a blind guy. Never had a visual image in his physical brain for the rest of his life. Couldn't possibly hallucinate it. Anyway, he's speaking 100% accurately. <laughs> and the kids in the room who are looking at this video, of course, are going, no way. And the teachers are going, way. You know, I mean, absolutely. You know, these, you know, this is what happens all the time. May explain, by the way, why 76% of physicians uh, declare themselves to be theists, believers in God. Really? Yeah, 76%. And also, um, of that, three quarters of them practice religion. Um, and of that, 74%, not of the 76, but 74% of total physicians believe in miracles past and present. And it's pretty evident wow. that 
Most of them have seen a miracle probably at least once a year in their practice if they're actually in the real clinical hospital area. And also they see hear about the near-death experiences incessantly. I mean, ask any nurse, yeah. you know, who's been in an ICU. I mean, she's heard it all. She believes. No, no it, question. Right? And, 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 and physicists mm -hmm. believe. I mean, there's, oh, yes. There's mm -hmm. this crazy idea that, that faith is for the stupid. And it's, yeah. just, it's just a, a shallow, secular rebranding of Christianity because they don't like what we have to say or maybe making moral demands in their lives, right? Yeah, well... But the reality th is brilliant people have believed throughout history. Oh, yeah. Um, and not only that, I mean, let's face it. Today, you know, 51% of scientists, that would be like physicists, chemists as well, you know, as um, a biologist, 51% wow. overall say that they are theists, they're believers in God or a higher transcendent power. Um, 21 percent declare themselves to be agnostics, and 20 percent declare themselves to be atheists. This is the minority, yeah, by far. right, by far. Yeah. yeah. Uh, and so you look at that, but then you look at the young scientists. This is the interesting trend, because young scientists, 66 percent, declare themselves to be theists, believers in God or high transcendent power, and um, only about 15 percent declare themselves to be agnostic. Wow. 11 percent. Um, atheist. <laughs> so it's really trending That's upward beautiful. toward belief. Yeah, yeah, this is a 2014 Pew survey of the American Association. We've we got to tie that back success. to the practice of religion, right? Yeah, but, yeah. But, there's, but at least there's yeah. this surge or, or a strength in theism. Oh, yeah, because the people evidence believing is out something. There. Yeah. Uh, yeah. The evidence. So um, the story you just described is. Mm -hmm. Uh, I mean, it's striking. Right? Mm -hmm. that, that, that doesn't happen unless there's a soul. That uh, cannot happen. Can't yeah. be explained by, well, first of all, the physical body is in the operating room. Yeah. And the uh, the soul body is outside uh, the hospital looking Accurately at the Accurately describing things the, that happen. That actually, right down to the second happened at the very time he had his heart attack. Wow. So the, the key thing, though, in the whole process is not only is it, uh, you know, uh, veridically true, but he's blind from birth, so he can't have any visual images in his physical brain to hallucinate. So, I mean, how can yeah. a physicalist even begin to, uh, you know, explain this? You can't. I, I like that word, physicalist. Yeah. That's yeah. a, but kind of like scientism, right? Physical, yeah. people who just believe there's nothing but matter. That's right. Mm -hmm. Wow. Mm -hmm. uh, I think everything can be reduced to matter. Yeah. Exactly. That's it. Man, wasn't that amazing? I get so much out of these conversations that I barely care if anybody else is watching. But I prefer, obviously, to share this great stuff with the world. So be sure to subscribe and share it with everybody you know, and we'll see you in the next video.